Let's go. Oh, the original cut. There it is. I might like it better than the 2020 version. What's up, Shoot Fanatics? Hey, man, listen, I'm blessed and I'm so happy to be here doing this thing after a couple of months, man. Uh, so thank you all for keeping me motivated and liking my videos and, you know, doing all that good stuff. Uh, so if you're still here, man, do me a favor. If you haven't already, if you're watching this video, like, share, subscribe, comment, you know, doing that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you get, uh, you know, notice when I uh, post more videos. Now, on my IG, which you should be following me if you're not, J underscore Shoot Fanatic, go follow your boy. Uh, on my IG, uh, I posted a story uh, to my timeline a couple of weeks ago, and I, you know, put a poll up about which of the OG colorways, which grail should I pick up. Uh, the reason I did that was because it was a kind of a slow month for me for August, and I did that on purpose. I was trying to save uh, pennies for the month of September and uh, the month of October because, I, in my opinion, a lot of heat was uh, dropping. You know what I mean? So I saved my pennies for that for those uh, two months, but. I also said, you know what? It's gonna be a good time to go grail hunting. All right, so I uh, picked up a grail and uh, you know, grails just means different things to different people. But for me, you know, it means uh, OG colorways, uh, you know what I mean? Some of the stuff that are must haves for my collection. You know what I mean? Um, it could be hype shoes, you know what I mean? Like for example, a uh, off-white one is a grail. You know what I mean? A union one is a grail. Uh, a Travis Scott 5, I'm excuse me, Travis Scott 4 is a grail. A Trophy Room 5 is a grail. And something like this, again, OG colorways, they're a grail. So let's get right into this thing, man. Got my scissors popped open, cut this guy. Now, you guys been with me for a while. Yeah, I know we don't take kind of boxes around here. We don't, we, don't, we don't do that box and stuff right here. So you know what I mean? I gotta shank this guy open real quick. You know what I mean? I'm open out here, we don't play. We don't play with these boxes. I appreciate it. We're gonna play with these boxes. Now, before anyone <laughs> before anyone asks, this was a pickup from GOAT. Alright. Now you guys gotta let me know because I've only been in the game uh for a little bit over a year now. Is it a faux pas to buy a new pair? But <laughs> the new pair didn't have a lid. That that a that a no-no? I saved myself, you know, 30 bucks without having a lid, so uh <laughs> no, no reselling for me, I guess. But in any event, y'all know what we do. We take that box, we get, them, we get that box out of here. <laughs> and there's no point in sugarcoat nothing, man. There ain't no lid on this guy. But y'all see what this is, man. It's a size 11, my personal size. Obviously, this is my personal pair. And this is the Air Jordan 13 Retro. Colorway reads black, true red, white. I don't know, oh, okay, I was gonna say, I don't know where white is on this shoe. But, without further ado, we have to you an oldie but a goodie. A remaster of the classic that first debuted in 1998 that Jordan did wear on his feet. Again, this is Jay Shoe Fanatic's, one of Jay Shoe Fanatic's personal grails uh, from one of my favorite silhouettes. I'm pleased to present to you the Air Jordan 13 bread. So, man, uh, upon first inspection, you know what I mean? You have to be very, very careful about what you receive from GOAT, uh, StockX, any of the like. Uh, just because you're never quite sure whether or not they're doing their due diligence when they tell you that a, sh uh, a, uh, a shoe is dead stock or not. So, I'm looking around. So far, so good. Uh, you know, I think try it on. Okay, so try it on may, be, may mean try it on. But for some people, try it on could still be dead stock. Or there's also a VNDS, virtually new dead stock. And either or, you know, I'm fine with. But again, I did pay for a new shoe, so I expect a new shoe. This is the Air Jordan 13 uh, bread, black and red colorway. Now, this is obviously a remaster of the shoe that came out in 1998. It is true to the shape and form of the 1998 version which as I mentioned to you a couple of weeks ago, I kind of picked a good time to get into the game because from 2017 pretty much on, Jordan Brand has been doing a pretty good job of taking shoes and bringing them back to how they first debuted as far as shape and little things like uh, hopefully 
Now, I don't know if it's showing right now, but behind this mesh is 3M. I'm gonna do a little experiment, so excuse me while I turn the, uh, the flash on. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, hopefully this is not drawn on my face. I'm gonna turn the, the flash off in a little bit. But as you can see, there is 3M that glitters like gold, man. Like shines like diamonds bright in the night sky. There's 3M all on the mesh, all right? Now, again, I wasn't, you know, a shoe collector back in 1998. And I don't know if the original had 3M like this, but from all reports, this is what 3M, this is what the, the original bread looked like, okay? And this is just a really, really, really fire thing. I mean, I did take a peek behind the camera when I turned the flash on and it's, it's lit up like Christmas, man. And that's fire. And I do believe it's on both sides, all right? While I got it, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the other shoe. You know, check for accuracy. Mm-hmm, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into a review of the shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and get into a review of the shoe. So again, this is Jordan 13 that does feature, uh, I think it's like, you know, full suede or some synthetic suede here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rub my finger and it does have pretty decent motion right there. And I'm a fan of that thing, man. Excuse my you know, foaming at the mouth about that, but I'm a fan of suede that moves. Again, I'm not a materials guy. I don't quite know if that's what's uh, premium or I don't quite know if that's what real suede is supposed to do, all right? I'm a simple guy. I buy shoes that cost $200. I mean, I don't have uh, Gucci, Gucci and Louis taste. But for me, this is a good thing that Jordan brand does. I like it and the shoe feels and looks premium. All right, so here's the upper that is again adorned with 3M all on it. I'm gonna keep that flash on for as long as I can. Again, hopefully it's not drawing my face out or making me look too shiny if it is. I don't, don't, I don't normally do my videos like that. So guys, I apologize in advance, but you gotta see the flash. You got to see it, all right? So again, uh, the, to the uh, toe box is, uh, you know, that tumbled leather on it. And I feel like that's gonna wash out. You know what, I'm gonna turn it flat. You know what, I checked the footage. I still look good, even with the flash on. You can't drown me out. You can't drown this handsomeness out, man. It's greatness. I shine brighter than the flash anyway. So I'll get back into it, man. So yeah, as you can see, there's the 3M. And with the uh, tumbled leather uh, toe cap that you know comes around from the uh, adjoining of the upper, comes around, fades, and stops right there with the, uh, again, 3M mesh. Again, I mentioned that true red colorway of the synthetic suede that does have that motion in the ocean, which again, I am a fan of, okay? Now, this shoe does have a suede tongue, all right? Which I think is a really good touch because I think most of my 13s have either a leather or it has uh, the mesh tongue, if I recall. I can't be quite sure, but hey, here we go. Suede tongue all the way up into the top. It feels like it feels like suede or you know, that felt. Again, not a materials guy. You know what I mean? I'm a simple man. At the top of that suede tongue though, is a stitched red jump man, all right, which I think is pretty nice, pretty dope. Down here at the bottom of the tongue, it does have a tag that does read Jordan. Hopefully I'm taking that up on the camera. And on the back, it should have, again, it does, the Roman numeral 13. Okay, I'm poor at seeing if this is gonna look up or pick up on the camera, but it is Roman numeral 13 on there, okay? So taking out the laces, which is does kind of look like either it is DS or it made their best attempt at putting it back DS. It does have a semi-thick rope lace, which is nice, uh, but just regular plastic aglets. Aglet, that's a good word, right? Uh, you know, lace tips. Okay, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and peel off because I am gonna put these guys on feet eventually. Uh, it does have the green hologram panther's eye. Now, if you watch my um, Flint 13 review, I did a breakdown of the shoe. Now this shoe was, you know, because I, I think they called Jordan like the black cat. So again, if I think it, it is Tinker Hatfield that designed these shoes, he took the black cat moniker and played it up and put it in the shoe. So this black cat is the panther right right there in the eye and as always on the bottom it's that famous panther's paw sole you know what i mean you can see like the two rear pads that you would see on a, a big cat and the front pads that you would see on the big cat and again there is this uh where's it at yeah now this panther's eye is indeed red hologram on this particular one again hopefully 
apologize for the uh, flash, but there's that panther's paw, panther's eye, excuse me. Now on the bottom, I believe this is carbon fiber shank plates. You know what I mean? I do think that's for stability and possibly lightness. You know what I mean? Because I do think this is a pretty decent performance shoe. You know, obviously I will never play basketball in these shoes. I haven't played basketball really in, uh, competitively in, in, in years anyway, but this is not one that I will wear uh, to test that theory out anyway. But this is a great, great, great shoe, man. I mean, you can look and see how classic it is. You know, uh, part of the problem with trying to go ahead and get grails now is because after the last dance documentary dropped, the price of every shoe Jordan wore on court I jumped out the gym, man. I mean, it's, it's the prices have skyrocketed. So the buying process from GOAT was pretty good. Uh, I checked out, I think I paid 350. I think I paid 350 for these, I can't recall. Um, and again, I saved myself 30 bucks, uh, some, something like that by buying a, a box without a top on it. Which leads me to believe these are probably an outlet pickup. That's my assumption. I think the shoe looks in phenomenal condition. I don't see any glue stains, any running of the colors. They're not bleeding off anywhere. Uh, the plastic still seems to be intact. Unfortunately, there is not a, uh, a shoe place holder thing of a jig in there. Uh, so, you know, which leads me probably to, again, believe that this was an outlet pickup, which I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna knock somebody else for making profit uh, for selling a shoe they pick up an outlet. And, you know, at some point you gotta trust the experts. All right, I'm not a, I'm not an authenticator. Uh, the people at Goat said that this was a new shoe, and I'm gonna go with that. So, with that being said, uh, what I wanted to do real quick is compare the 3M of this shoe with the 2020 version of the Flint 13 that dropped earlier this year. You know what I mean? So, uh, here's the 2020 version of the Flint 13. If you haven't checked that review out, please do so. It was one of my uh, favorites. I actually hit this guy in a shock drop. And uh, they're very similar in their lore and in their, uh, you know, iconography. I keep using that word. But people love this shoe a lot. And as a matter of fact, I think this may be some people's favorite 13. Uh, but for me, as a collector of Jordans and, you know, someone who um, does love this game, here's a 2013, excuse me, a 2017 red colorway. And as you can see, they both should have 3M just all over it. Kind of bright like diamonds. Pretty dope, pretty dope. So you know what, man, the thumbnails here, you know, here's my grail or is my, here's my grail. You know, something like that. And uh, I appreciate you, man. I'm happy, I'm happy with this pickup. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and snatch off this little plastic. You know, like I said, we trust the pros. They said it's a new shoe, I paid for a new shoe. We're gonna go with this new shoe. And there you have it. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Uh, if again, if you haven't, follow me, man. Follow me on Instagram, Fanatic. And again, it costs you nothing to hit the subscribe button. I'm giving you dope content, man. I think I'm giving you dope content. You be the judge of that. And you can let me know by hitting that, uh, that subscribe button, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, check it out. And uh, catch you later. Peace out.